What I'm going to do is, uh, in the next 10 minutes is to really give you a journey, a very visual journey of what the auteurs is, because it really puts uh, uh, in perspective what we are trying to do and uh, the conversation that we are about to, we are about to have. Um, you know, before I start, I must also say that I'm an outsider to the industry. I um, uh, studied computer science. I, my background is finance. Uh, when I started this company two years ago, I did not know a single person in the industry. I'd never been to a film festival in my life. I never watched a film in my life. I mean, I, I thought Fellini was a city in Italy. Maybe, maybe it is. Uh, but over the past two years, I've been learning a lot. Uh, but what I do know and understand is internet um, and technology and, and the, the process of discovery through the social graph. And that's what we spend a lot of our time on. Uh, and that's what uh, I believe what, the, what made daughters uh, successful. Um, so, so let me begin. Um, what does Martin Scorsese and a girl named Yuko, who's a fan of Kubrick, have in common? Uh, they are both members of the authors. Uh, it's impossible uh, to not talk about the authors without talking about its community. It is uh, currently the fastest growing online film destination uh, with some 135,000 people growing at 25% a month. Um, and it is uh, really the community, some of the most interesting and interested film fans in the world, which makes uh, the whole platform so much more exciting than uh, a pure uh, VOD site. And I'll get into details about why, why that's the case. Um, you know, where we are is just to you know, give some numbers and context. You know, we are reaching actually to some one million people uh, through, through our members' connections on Facebook and Twitter. Um, Facebook and Twitter is really important in terms of exposure and discovery because that's where people are spending the, all their time on right now. Uh, and we are going to talk about this uh, later. Um, just to give you some ideas about the kind of films that we have, it's a curated site. We, we want to show some of the best films ever produced, both classics and contemporary. This is just a screenshot that I took of some of the films we are showing in the um, in UK right now. And uh, you'll recognize some of these names. I mean, even, even I know them. Um, <laughs> um, we are obsessed with user experience. Uh, I mean, every pixel, every copy, the, the way that we, uh, we built our encoding algorithms, uh, and, and it, it really shows. And when you obsess about something in quality that much, you, you start attracting people who, who are like that and who do the same. Uh, if you're familiar with, uh, for example, the Criterion Collection in US, uh, they are the, the leading art house film distributor in the um, in US, and they really obsess about this stuff, and they are an investor, they are a partner, and we really work a lot uh, together on, uh, on defining how, how the, the format of the video and the image and the quality and the sound. Um, uh, and they've been, uh, I learned so much from them over the past two years. Same with Celluloid Dreams. Engame Panayi, who's the uh, founder and uh, president of uh, Celluloid Dreams, she, she's pretty much running the company with me right now. She's in my board, and, uh, and she's the leading sales company in the world. I mean, two of the films, uh, two, two recent films that she either produced or, uh, uh, or, or representing are Lebanon, which won Venice Film Festival just a couple of weeks ago, and A Prophet, which won the Grand Jury Prize in, uh, in Cannes. Both films are actually being shown in London Film Festival. And she worked very closely with the folks at, uh, at uh, the age of stupid. Uh, so she's really at the forefront of uh, all this stuff. And these partners, uh, have been very uh, instrumental uh, and important for, for us to be where we are. Partners means everything for us. Uh, and Fallon, uh, I don't know how many people know Fallon. They're a part of Publicis. They're a leading advertising agency. They won the, uh, the Grand Prix in Cannes Lyon two years in a row the past two years. The, the Gorilla ad, uh, Cadbury, that's Fallon. Um, and what we are doing together is we are uh, working on figuring out how to monetize long format video. Because quite frankly, so far, nobody had figured this out. Uh, Pay-per-view doesn't work. I'll talk about why. Uh, and, uh, and the advertising dollars currently is not there. So we really need to reinvent the way we approach monetizing uh, this, type of, uh, this type of films and, and, and video in general uh, on the internet. Uh, and these, these partners and stakeholders help us make that happen. So, so what does that mean for this audience or what? OK, this is great. Uh, what, now I'm going to talk about how we can help you uh, with your films. Uh, 
uh, and both as filmmakers and as, uh, as, as, as an audience uh, as well. Um, it starts with the community. You know, it, this is, this is uh, uh, the, the most exciting part of uh, the authors, is its people uh, and the way they interact with films and with each other. Um, and, uh, and our partnership with festivals is, is tied to it. I mean, we partnered right now with London Film Festival. We were both showing a retrospective of films that previously played in London Film Festival. Um, and we also you know, created and exposed all the films that are playing uh, in London Film Festival. So this started to become de facto place where people you, you know, now are going to see what they want to watch in London Film Festival because you just you go to the film festival page and you sort things by most wanted within the author's community and those happen to be the films that people are, you know, are increasingly wanting to, wanting to watch. So you, know, you started to see how the collaborative filtering uh, start to work its way into uh, discovery of content. Uh, and if you blindly just go to these six top films, for example, then you'll, you're going to have a good time. Um, and if your film is in the London Film Festival, if you're sitting here, your film is already in our database and people are already interacting with it. Um, the, the, the film page uh, looks like this. The, 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 the first thing you notice uh, is, of course, you pl press play and you start watching it. That's great. But the, the interactions, the, the ratings, the adding it to favorites and wanting to watch it, and the fans uh, of the films, because as you start interacting with the film, uh, it is reflected on your news feed. You're looking at right now what the home page of the authors looks like. The homepage of the authors used to be, when we first started, was beautiful. It was like magazine-like. Uh, we show a highlight, uh, a film. We give you the author's picks. And I mean, who cares about the author's picks? And we learned about that very quickly. What you care about is what your friends and the people that you're connected to uh, think. I mean, when I go to this, this is, um, this is actually uh, Edward's page. Edward is sitting right here. Uh, he's in my team. When Edward sees that Gabe became a fan of, Paranoid Park, that's how he discovers Paranoid Park and, uh, and he starts interacting with it. And as he interacts with Paranoid Park, it's reflected on his profile uh, as his favorite film or the film that he wants to watch, uh, and also on Facebook. Because, you know, and now when he does something, for example, he wants to watch an education, uh, he clicks, I want to watch an education, and all his friends, hundreds of people who's, uh, who's following him on Facebook, who's friends with him on Facebook, sees that. And um, if we had a trailer of an education, actually, you would be even seeing a play button on there. We embedded our player in Facebook. You watch the trailer. The post roll action takes you back to the authors. I mean, clicking that takes you to the authors. You immediately log in using FB Connect, and you interact with it. And when you interact with it, then all your friends on, uh, on, on Facebook see it. And then they come. They interact. All their friends see it. And it's just like incredibly viral, uh, especially if you also connected your, your account with Twitter. Um, so all this stuff is being uh, posted automatically on Twitter as well, all your activity on the authors. If you search for, you know, we just search for knife in the water on Twitter, and these are the results, and all of them are the authors, which is really amazing for us. Uh, and all of them are what people are doing related to Polanski's film Knife in the Water, which is a film that we love. Um, and. And I talked about the collaborative filtering a little bit. And you know, if you go to films and you click Most Wanted, you, know, you, are, you, you start to see what are the new releases, what's coming up, and you know, how people are interacting with it. And this is, this is a very powerful way uh, to discover stuff. So is our editorial. So we think editorial is very important for you to discover stuff as well. Currently, this week, uh, you know, part of my team is in Abu Dhabi for the film festival. We were in New York just last week, in Toronto the week before and Venice the week before, uh, and we are covering these festivals live, uh, and, um, and that's a way for people to start coming to the site every single day and to see what's new, what's happening, uh, and what's the buzz, and that's, a, that's the way they discover, and as they interact, all their friends know about it too. And um, I'm almost done. This is my last page, and if you... Um, and part of what we do is, of course, we, we take a film and we really work on it. Revanche was a film. It's a Criterion release. It's a film that was nominated for Oscars. It's a beautiful film. Um, and um, we took the film, and this is a case study that I'm, you know, I, I hope I have a chance to talk about, because what we did is we showed the film two days before it opened online for a 48-hour period to our most 
active users. So it was an exclusive screening. It was just like hiring a place like this and showing it to press and then use that buzz. Uh, we did it online, and it really worked. Uh, and we also did an online Q&A in real time, so our audience was asking questions in real time, and we were asking it to go to film it. We filmed it in real time. It was, it, was being, it was being broadcasted, and then after that, it lived in our editorial. And that's the way, that's the way really, um, uh, we, the, a number of different ways we experiment with how, how we create exposure, discovery, and monetization of content. Thank you very much.